All right, let's go ahead and read this article right over here. It comes to us from That Park Place. It's a Genshin Impact and Hoyo Voice boycotters rage and promise to escalate efforts after companies' revenue increase nearly 10% despite of their boycott. Uh, good luck. <laughs> Even if you like quadruple effort, <laughs> let's see what happens. All right, Gray, do you know why uh, they increased 10% despite of the boycott? Uh, okay. My initial impression for now is because of Zenless Zone Zero, because that just got launched. But I maybe there's a, there's a particular character there that everyone really liked. There is. There character. is. And let me and let me show it off. Right over here, there's a spike in people watching, right? That's it. <laughs> That's the reason. That's Julia. the reason. Zhu Yuan. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is for you, chat. This is for you. That there it is. That's the re that's <laughs> for the ten percent bump right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. You think that you're gonna boycott people in China who don't give a fuck about yeah. your like pandering esg D, they, they don't care all they care about is money all right yep. all they care about is money and, so yeah. let's go let's go go back to the article right over here oh man let's see genshin impact and hoyo versus boycotters are not happy with the developers revenue increase nearly 10 percent despite their ongoing boycott according to gotcha revenue hoyo verse nearly released game zenith zone zero raked in a total of 99.8 million in revenue for the month of july also brought Crazy. in that's a lot of money man that's insane yeah yeah it also brought in 40 billion from honkai star rail and another 37.3 from genshin impact between the three games holy verse gross 177.4 million just in july yeah jesus it's not that's why I don't really believe like the games industry is in danger. It's just that a lot of the developers now, especially in the West, they're, they're not serving the right people. Th that's all there is to it. And you're prioritizing the wrong things. Look at this. I mean, do you, can you see like it's I don't feel like I don't think Mihoyo is feeling the economic downturn based on, based on these numbers. So it's probably you're doing something wrong. That's all there is to it. A lot of you are doing something wrong. Maybe yeah. you're not prioritizing making good entertainment. You're not. You're prioritizing your politics, and that's what you get. I mean, you don't. Yeah. You don't do your job. You lose your job. That's all there is to it. Yep. All right. Let's see. In comparison, Hoyo verse grows a total of 163 million between Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact in June. Thus, the company saw its revenue use increase eight percent between June and July, and that's a revenue increase because of ZZZ. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, Zhu Yuan. It doesn't even have the biggest tits and that that belongs to one of the maids but the thing is that nicole is a free character that you get she also have nice tits too i heard she was nerfed but give the players jiggle physics and hot anime girls or just hot girls in general your game is going to make money it doesn't matter yeah. what your what your thing is right like let's let's see if if there's a game that constantly calls me a bigot sexist racist you know, whatever, homophobe or whatever, but the girl is like extremely fucking hot. She has nice ass, nice tits, and nice jiggle physics. She can tell me whatever you want. <laughs> and I'll still yeah, play the game. <laughs> yeah. So someone like someone commented on my video on Flintlock. I said, if like if they made the character white, the game would still suck would still suck. But I should have added to that. Like if they made her suit, they made her Eve hot, I think it would have helped the game a lot. Like yeah. rather than putting it in like an ugly, you know. Man, man, trans character, like, it, yeah. Anyway, Flintlock is dead. It's even more dead than when I reviewed it. Yep. All right, let's continue reading the article. Despite the boycott clearly not having any effect whatsoever, boycotters are doubling down and promising to escalate their tactics. Ex-user Avon of Strats posted, we're just getting started. The boycott isn't going anywhere until we achieve our goal. We will keep escalating until we hold you over, stop whitewashing, and provide authentic representation in the game. 
I don't think it's gonna do anything, man. It's yeah. China. It's 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 China. CCP yeah. has their fingers and everything exactly. in China, so it doesn't. They, they're not gonna care. Yeah, it's like imagine having to explain someone in Chi- a native in China who's not really into YouTube and stuff like that. Imagine the mental gymnastics they have to go through to understand what woke is. Like it's not gonna happen, dude. It's not, you have to explain to what millions upon millions of people what woke is, and they're just they're they're pro- their initial responsibility. You're you're mentally retarded, or you need to go to a you need mental help. That's the that's probably what they're gonna say when you try to explain yeah. to them this all this BS going on. Yeah, like okay, here's the thing. I'm going to put in Genshin Impact characters, okay? This, this, the Genshin Impact's character list makes them want to vomit and cry in the corner because there are no black characters and the darkest character you have in the game is between Candace and Xinyan. So, and yeah. everything, everything is and this game. It's China, man. They don't give a flying fuck what you guys think. Yeah. And the thing is, as only people here in the West, especially in the U.S., are the ones who are like extremely seething over this. Like, oh, Natlan is not having the black characters. Screw that. I'm gonna boycott. Yeah, sure, sure. While their revenues continue to go up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh man. Let's see. Uh let's see. <laughs> X-Wing's in the chat. What's going on, dude? Damn egg roll da- Dunn got too big for his britches. What what britches? My egg roll's really small. It's for <laughs> uh it's for efficiency. <laughs> <laughs> right? When I'm swimming, I'll have less drag. <laughs> oh man. Uh but yeah, man, uh, a lot. The thing is that you um you did you play uh, any of these Hoyoverse games? Yeah, I'm I'm actually I played Honkai. I got far the got far the most with Honkai. I might continue playing Honkai. Honkai I, third? Just, like Honkai yeah, Impact or like, Honkai Star Rail? Yeah, because like j- simply because for the reason that it's easier to play turn based in your phone than an action game. Okay, yeah, right. so so Honkai Star Rail, okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's continue. Let's see. Uh, Harbinger's girls posted. Remember to keep boycotting and talking about the petition. <laughs> what petition? Just a petition? <laughs> Change.org. I believe they hit over a hundred thousand though. They, 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 they did. I believe they did hit over a hundred thousand signatures. Yeah, that's the thing. Whenever someone brings up, whenever an article or a topic brings up Change.org, I, I don't know. Maybe you know, Phil. Maybe in real. Um, has change.org really done something? Did it really? It's like whenever it's like something happens, I don't think it can be attributed to change.org. So yeah, I, I don't know. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. It's like it's it's signatures of people. Yeah, yeah. So what? So I, 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 don't, I, I don't believe, see... according to what I heard, I believe if you get a hundred thousand signatures, like they have to address it. Right? Mm-hmm. I believe they have to address it. But di- the thing is that. It's China. Didn't wait, didn't Genshin Impact or the people at Hoyoverse come out with like an email saying that, dude, this is make believe. This is just a game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll follow. Wait, let's say if it reaches 100,000, they have to do something. Like, who's going to enforce that? that? That's my question. Yeah, that's true. That is yeah. true. Yo, X Wing. Yeah. I, Gray, did you see this one? Ideal for Olympics. Stupid white boy failed pole vault with his big wee wee. Did you see that one? <laughs> We're not going to show it, all right? We're not going to show it. So there's a guy who was doing pole vaulting and he got over the pole, but his dick was so big that it touched the pole and knocked the pole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I've seen it, man. I know, oh, man. I, I've seen it, man. This is bad. Oh, okay. I, and here's another one, dude. There was the there was those Filipinos that were like diving. Did you see that one? That was in the Olympics. I haven't been tuning into Olympics. No, stuff, it's so you're... Th- these are old. These are old Olympics ones. Where oh, basically, older ones, older ones. They they dive and they basically like didn't eat. They 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 flopped so bad and they got them start high fiving each other. Like yeah yeah man. 
<laughs> oh shit. Oh man. Sorry. Let's continue with this article. Let's see. The petition, which currently has over 104,000 signatures, explains why these individuals are boycotting them. Uh, it states that we call Mihoyo to stop cultural appropriation and whitewashing in their games and commit to respectful and accurate representation of all cultures. <laughs> sure. China, ca- China does not care, man. Yeah, they don't even know what change.org is, probably. Maybe it's even blocked on, on, yeah. for most people there. Yeah, see, it continues. Mahoyo, a leading gaming a game development company, has repeatedly taken inspiration from indigenous cultures without proper representation and respect. In particular, the many characters from Sumeru and Natlin in Genshin Impact and from uh, Penakani, Penakani in Honkai Star Rail are all clearly white or only light tanned at best with exception of some enemy NPCs, which has sparked concerns of racism among players and indigenous communities. Wow. Next, it declares a cultural appropriation and whitewashing perpetuate harmful stereotypes and diminish the rich cultural heritage of indigenous communities. These practices not only misrepresent cultures, but also contribute to ongoing marginalization and disrespect. I wonder if these people feel the same thing for Yasuke. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, exactly. I wonder. Yeah. It then issues a list of demands. Demands. You are demanding the CCP? You're demanding <laughs> China bend the knee to you? Crazy pink whale that's online? Probably can't even get up. <laughs> Mihoyo, to in, uh, engage with indigenous cultural consultants, revise existing content to ensure accurate representation, commit to creating diverse and inclusive characters. On top of that, the petition on X account called Hoyoverse Boycott also declares, I think it's safe to say that we all have had enough of erasure of our cultures and identities. Today, I introduce you all to Boycott Hoyoverse. We will be an account. Do you know what they should do? If you're going to boycott Hoyoverse, just stop playing the fucking game. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's, another, that's the argument by Andrew. Go, I don't think they even stopped playing. These people who claim who were boycotting. They didn't. There's, oh, I'm going to boycott this, but I'm still playing the game. So you're still supporting the game. So you don't even have the. You can't even have mustered the willpower to stop playing the game. Then where does where is it gonna lead if you're still gonna continue playing? And more likely than not, paying for whatever character you want or whatever skin or in-game item you want. So nobody's gonna care. Absolutely nobody. Yep. Just stop playing the game. All right. That's a good way to boy boy good way to boycott is seeing their numbers drop. That's it. Mm-hmm. But these people are like, but I gotta do my dailies. <laughs> yep. I gotta do my exactly. dailies, man. I my resins, yep. dude. I I I gotta use my, I, my. There's a new character coming out. She's a really mm-hmm. really good five star. I need to get her. She's my waifu. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh man, dude. The account adds there has been a distinct lack of darker skin tones represented in the game. Characters from these cultures are actively being heavily referenced, but are being whitewashed. This is especially noticeable and ever-present in not only Sumeru and Natlin, but also in other nations. These practices not only mis- misrepresent said cultures, but also contribute to ongoing marginalization and disrespect that is perpetuating colorism further in the media, causing even more harm than good to communities and groups of individuals who are a part of them. The account stated, that's nuts, man. I bet you China is like, Get the email, immediately put it in spam. <laughs> yep. And I hope they did the same with Sweet Baby Inc. The, the email from Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah. I, man, I don't they, they try because they want they want a share. Even just like one million. That's probably more than a, that's probably really good enough for them to sustain that for the next several years. If they just get one million of that pie. Yep. Look, the fact that they tried to extort Black Myth Wukong. And then w- whether or not that's true, you think that you can take on one of the giants that's Hoyoverse? Like, 
do you know how much money Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail and now in ZZZ has made in the, in a course of like during COVID? It's a multi-billion dollar company now. Yep. Your words means nothing. Your boycott means nothing to them. And I love it, man. I, I absolutely love it. Man, let's see. The user posted, Genshin is not real life. <laughs> Right here, a couple of boycotters have shared a response that they received from Hoyoverse. Ex user Haunted Haunted Faye, uh, who has apparently deleted his account. <laughs> Originally posted on July 12th, the message he received from Mihoyo informing that the game is fictional. The user posted, Genshin is not real life. Genshin Impact. Um, what kind of response is that when a player submits a feedback about racism and colorism, embarrassing or unprofessional behavior from the company of grown-ups as opposed to mature, well-read developers right here? Uh, thank you for your feedback. Dear Traveler, thank you for your feedback. Please be kindly reminded that Genshin Impact is a work of fiction and is not related to actual people, events, and groups, organizations. We, we do really hope for your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I yeah. love it, man. Oh shit, dude. But yeah, uh, most recently, uh, X user uh, Ka Ka Vin Venator, that's how you say it, claimed that a canned response was a victory. The user wrote, "This is a response I got from a Hoyoverse. I do think they're being careful with their words now because of the backlash. Don't let Hoyoverse get away with it, guys." The message from Hoyoverse states, thank you, can contact your appreciate feedback, we update you. We have your recorded opinions and, and to forward them to the appropriate team. If you have any other suggestions about our game, you can also feel free to share them by opening Paimon menu and clicking feedback. Uh, I guarantee you they, they do not care about any of the things that the boycotters are doing. A billion yeah. dollars? They're basically, so we can't hear all your complaining, right? It's literally a bunch of like money yeah. just piling up. So what you say? I can't hear you with all the money we're making. Yep. And probably the worst, their ultimate worst case scenario in this situation is just that customer service just needs to be careful on how they respond. Because like if they say something off or fi or the woke mob finds something in the wording that they can use even more to fuel the fire. That's it. That's it. That's the worst that, that they, they just need to mitigate. Otherwise, yeah. they're doing they are doing exactly what they should be doing. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.